Well, good day, good Monday to everybody, whether it's Monday morning, Monday afternoon, or Monday evening. It's the beginning of a week. Uh, it's going to be a sunny day here today, eventually. Right now, it's just a bit cloudy, but who cares? We're at the beach, correct? The beach is the beach, and uh, the ocean is the ocean, and the dogs are the dogs. Jen? You coming over to say hi? Sure. Cool. I'm here with my wife, the great Jen Gittimer. Hello. And uh, you can say hi to Jen. I'll give her all the shout outs. <laughs> Thank um, you. But we have a challenge here in that you can't be too relaxed. <clears throat> you can relax, but you can't be too relaxed. You can't do nothing. There's obviously there is a... Um, <clears throat> Well, we're at the beach. It must be vacation time. Well, come on. You know better than that. Now, it's 10 o'clock. There's already 70 or 80 people on that are that are acknowledging themselves. There's tons of people that never come on, but listen. <clears throat> and I'm asking you today, what's on your list? What are the things you got to do today? And what happens when there's a slight interruption what do you do when that first interruption happens and you get thrown off the track for that day <clears throat> that's what i want to know and one of you guys uh sent me a, uh, an email this morning with a video in it that absolutely stunned me so i'll wait to see his name um if any of you know jimmy o'neill why don't you just tap him on the shoulder and go, yo, Philly, get on. Um, we'll see. But it was it was surprisingly amazing. And I want to make sure that I share that link with you this morning so you can watch the video that he sent to me. I just want to get his permission to do it. Um, totally cool. Just totally, absolutely excellent. I don't know whether he, oh, there we go. No, I didn't like it, Jimmy. I loved it. Can I put the link here in the uh, in the show notes? That's what I really want to do. Um, let's see what we got here. Make sure I got the right thing. And the message for this morning is all about you. What are you doing this morning that's so unbelievable that you can't stand it? What are you doing this morning that's just absolutely unbelievable? This is, uh, he refers to this as the Sicilian Oracle. And um, is this it right here? Yeah. I think this is it. I'm not 100% positive on Neil, but you can tell me. This is the link. It's in the, it's a YouTube link. And I think this is it. I don't know whether you can post it or not. Whoops. Periscope didn't, I don't care if Periscope did, drops dead. Um, <clears throat> put the link in there, can you please, Jimmy? And, uh, but I just want you to take a look at, at what, this guy put together the beginning credits, the opening edits are off the chart. They're not good. They're off the chart. And what you should do is use this as an ability to um, try one for yourself. Come on, try one for yourself. Try do what this guy did. He's this guy's he's mature. I don't know that computers are his middle name, but he put together a video. Maybe he used somebody from the outside. I don't know what he did, but let me tell you what. The, from the first 20 seconds of this video, you're going, okay, what's it about? I want more. Just It's just well done. That's all I'm saying. Um, and uh, you guys, yep, that's the video. Okay, cool. And he's, I don't know how old you are, Jimmy, but let's say you're 60. Is that fair to say? 
Um, so don't say, well, he's, you know, he's got this bullshit. He, it's all self-learned. It's all self-learned. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm doing. Because when you get these surprises, they're unbelievable. Now, here's what I need you to do. I'm going to go to the Insiders Club as soon as I'm done here today to give you a weekly challenge. But I'm asking you that if you're in the Insiders Club, can you please send me an email about how you have succeeded in the Insiders Club? What's the story? Oh, my goodness. Well, we have a visitor. We don't normally show guests on the show because they want money. But look at this little puppy dog. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute. She's not as cute as Jen, but, man, she's pretty damn cute. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Zoe. Uh, so what's going on? What's the first thing you're going to be doing today? What's your first action on Monday to get weekend rolling? Now, we have a staff meeting, and we talk about what we did, what's happening, where we're going, and it's, it's always enlightening because there's always something that somebody hasn't reported. And we also talk about personal things that happen, what you do this weekend, try to keep it in the family. And uh, we're directed for the week now. We know what our major projects are, what our projects are going to be. We got interviews, seminars, all kinds of stuff going on. And now it's a matter of, okay, Let's do it. This for you is a let's do it lesson and a let's do it moment. Jenny, what's the first thing you're going to be doing this morning? Well, I already worked on things already. Yeah? Yeah. But you already had it. And, and? I already worked on my ads for something that's upcoming. I worked on a program that I'm launching. Um, we had our team meeting. Um, and now I'm creating a timeline for one of our newest customers so that they can see like when things are going to happen that we're working on for them. And then in the afternoon, don't you have a, oh, I'm playing tennis. Yeah. And, and with the girls, I only know one of them, oh. but I was invited. Cool. <laughs> All right. So it's pleasure, business, business, pleasure. And it's a full day. I mean, we'll, we'll be, Tired at the end of it, but we're having steak tonight for dinner at the Isle of where we're, Long Island Cafe. Correct? Sure. And uh, that's where it is. And that's where it is for us. Where is it for you? So let's see what's going on. Motivation Monday is one of the best seven days of the week. <laughs> oh, exactly. Thank you. Magnificent Monday. Your character holds a key to your trustworthiness. Ooh, isn't that good? That was, I'm going to tell you that I had read a uh, character by Samuel Smiles, recognized that character is a, a deep-rooted skill or talent that most people don't understand how to really capitalize on. So if I drew some analogies to it, that might clarify it. So if you have character, you can build trust. If you have character, people will believe you. If you have character, people will like you. Well, that guy's really character. Got it? They're talking about your character, not your a character. <clears throat> Stop searching forever. Happiness is just next to you from a fortune cookie. <laughs> That's a good one, Cynthia. Happy Monday. Good morning, JG. Mazda man, good morning to you too. Brian, human beings have the ability to turn nothing into something, turn weeds into gardens and pennies into fortunes. Jim Rowe. <clears throat> How can you get through a day and not quote Jim Rowe? Answer, I don't know. And all the people that are here, good morning to you. Michael, what's up with you, bub? It's not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it's because... We do not dare that they are difficult. Seneca. Man, that guy has like the best applesauce on the planet. Have you? Do we use Seneca applesauce? <clears throat> he went from being a philosopher to going into the applesauce business, but it's working. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Our most basic common link. 
וואו. וואו. The first people principle, what's this? Of success is desire. Oh, this is, uh, that's so interesting. This is Robert Collier's from the 20s and 30s, and then Napoleon Hill put it into his piece as well. Isn't that interesting? Let's, uh, let's revisit this. I have a very large collection of Robert Collier. He's a little religious, but he's very good. Along the lines of Arson Sweat and Martin, to be truthful. One of the grandfathers of personal development. I actually have an autograph of both those guys, Robert Collier and Arson Sweat and Martin. All right. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Jen. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. Jen, Jen, Jen. Jen? Yeah. You got 10 shout outs. No, actually, more. All right. Wow. Actually, wow. You may have gotten 20, Jenny. That's cool. Um, Fitz, what up? Yeah, this is it. You got your list. What's first? That's what I want to. I'm challenging you. This is what's first on the list because what's first on the list should be what you're doing, correct? Otherwise, why is it on the list first? It's your top of mind. It was already there, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly, Stuart. You're exactly 100% correct. Life shrinks or expand in proportion to challenge. Tim, good. <clears throat> day 393, walking miles every day. Wow, that's pretty good. Rain or shine? I think I'm day 343 on this live. Boom. I'm telling you, 1st of March, countdown. Prize every autograph book will be sent to somebody every day. The question is, will it be you? Get your story in. Get your Insiders Club story in. Why did you become successful as a result? Or how did the Insiders Club help you become more successful? I want to know that. Thank you. I'll, I'll post it again inside the group. Eric, good morning from St. Louis. <laughs> um, I'm telling you, Jimmy, yeah, he wants you, people want to see the video. It's, it's an interview, but the way this thing gets intro is unbelievable. If I had to say something about the exit, the exit's also good. It's Jimmy just being real. Yeah. You got it, 413. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to be the best motivator for educators today. I will go live at noon. And cool. This is so cool. And fits. first thing is prayer and devotion. If I get distracted, I just go back to it and stay on course. Good. Bring the thunder. Happy Monday from Fort Mill, South Carolina. The great Sal Pellegrino. You know, you know how he honored me one time? I was doing a public seminar in Charlotte, North Carolina a few years ago, and he brought his daughter can't ask for anything more than that. This can't. Thank you. Public, personal, thank you. Jeffrey, I think I know what video you're talking about. I cannot wait. Looks so good. Exactly. Exactly. It's really, really good. I look very orange this morning. It's because the lighting in here is not that good. 
I will change lighting soon. See, look how much better it looks like there. I, you're right. I got to get better lighting. Well, I have, we have the light. I just haven't turned it on. <clears throat> Positive attitude is the foundation of your life. Thank you. Coachman, this verse from Proverbs is more important today than ever before. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Can you pop the light over here for just one second and see what happens? Thank you. We're going to make a lighting adjustment because Bruce Greenblatt is bitching about the lighting. And I don't want Bruce to have anything sour to say about anything. And because these lights were a little yellow up top here. We got the whole kit and caboodle coming. Thorpe Canada is here. Right, following up with customers. Cool. Here's that uh, link for um, Jimmy's video. You're going to love it. I mean, just the first 20 seconds, you're going to go, holy shit, this is cool. Jen is figuring out how to do this without getting electrocuted. That's it. Cool. We're in. And now we're on. Whoa. Uh, a little bright. Take a look at me. Now, let me just see. I'll adjust this. Ooh, much better. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no face for this, right? Or there is, we just don't use it. It's in the, the room. Uh, you can't tell. You can only. Yeah, 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 better. Cool. Bruce, better? <laughs> All right. I gave. Not bad, right? No, you're fine. Oh, hold on. He's texting me now. Oh, my God. Not bitching. Just want you to always look your best. Thank you very kindly, Bruce. Thank you very, very kindly. I love Bruce Greenblatt. Bruce Greenblatt and I have been friends for a long, long time. Like literally 40 years. That's a long time to have a friend. A good friend, too. Getting ready to start my master's in psychology. Go for it. Here's what you're going to find out. People are nuts. Had breakfast with a customer at 6.30. Creating a YouTube channel as I type. Ordered Lume Cube. Oh, Loom Cube. Thanks, Jen. What brand of your mic is you are using again? We use Comica, C O M I C A. <clears throat> and uh, all of our affiliate links are on your website. Okay, go to gitmer.com and look up. What do we? What's the? What do they click on? Resources. resources. Go to gitmer.com and click on resources. Gitmer.com slash resources. Go to getimer.com and click on resources. That's final. All right, we're there now. Kimball, what do you got to say? Find something you love. Believe that you will succeed. Work harder than you believe possible. The result will take you all the way from success to fulfillment. Jeffrey Gittimer. That is exactly right, sir. That is exactly correct. I'm saving it because... It is very appropriate to today. Very appropriate to today. I don't think there's a better way of explaining what today is than finding something that you love and do it with all your heart. Every major guy who's ever espoused anything with personal development or any of the other elements will tell you of success, will tell you to find something you love and do it. Evans, <clears throat> welcome back to the beach. Thank you. Worked a home show this weekend. Had a blast interacting with future customers. Yeah, I think that it's so much fun. So much fun. Good morning from Charleston, Massachusetts. You deal with interruptions right away, so you can move on to what you're doing. <sighs> Jen, yeah. can you come here for one second? 
We had a discussion about this very thing this morning. Jen and I have, I've always dealt with interruptions right away. But sometimes they interrupt the person that you're talking to and cause hurt feelings, correct? So sometimes you have to ignore the interruption and say, I'll get back to you. And then you have to remember who it is, correct? Mm -hmm. Any other thing you want to add about that? <laughs> um, I think in our... in, in Family. I, no, I, well, okay. I think in the time that we're in, it's very easy with all the cell phone distractions to want to respond to someone right away when they're messaging you. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to look around and realize that by responding to someone on the other end of the phone, that may mean you're not being present to the person that you're with, whether it's intentional or not. And usually it's not intentional. It's just like a habit, right? Oh, I'm going to respond to so-and-so because so-and-so is messaging me and I want to get right back to them and, and be responsive. And that's a good habit to be responsive, but there are times to be responsive and times to say, Hey, I'm hanging out with my daughter right now or cooking with my wife right now or whatever it may be. Can I get right back to you when I'm done? And people are understanding. I think that when, when someone says to me, Hey, I'm with my family right now, I don't take offense to that. I'm like, cool. I, I value that you value family time and I respect that. And so, um, and so, you know, there's there's one thing to do with dealing with, I see it says dealing with interruptions, um, dealing with interruptions, which, you know, you have to decide, is it, is it a time that you want to be interrupted? Is it, yeah. is it an interruptible time? Or maybe is it not? When I'm by myself, I don't mind being interrupted. Unless I, like, I can ignore it, that's my choice. But when I'm with family, I think it's a more important time and I think you should consider deferring. Yeah, and it's hard right or now. Or asking for permission. You know, with most people home, 80% yeah. of the time, where is that divide? Where is that line between home and work? Where is that line between being interrupted? Are you being interrupted maybe between family time and work time or what What time? But like last week I called someone on Friday and he, said, and he didn't answer and I wasn't offended. That he didn't answer. I wasn't like, oh my God, what's going on? He didn't answer my call. Just he didn't answer. And he said, Hey, I'm putting my my kids, my kids in the bathtub or something. Like, I'll call you after dinner. I call you after I put them to bed or whatever it may be. And I'm like, yeah. okay, cool, perfect. You know? So just a thought. Because we were thinking about it, talking about it this morning. Boom. Now, today's agenda. Boom. How to not get interrupted at work, work from home. <laughs> That's classic. Oh uh, yeah. If you want to be, if you want to be the best salesperson, you must first be the best person. That's exactly correct. That is exactly correct. That is exactly correct. I love these quotes that are coming in here this morning. So good. <clears throat> I started the day reading from the sales manifesto. Excellent choice. Exactly, exactly. I'm not a DND person. I'm not an eat that frog person, but I understand exactly what you're talking about. Um, be the person your dog thinks you are. That's probably more realistic. First thing I'm doing is follow up with several people. Good. It's good. Insiders Club. Member. First thing I did was went live. Boom. Coachman. See, that's this is what you have to do. This is totally what you have to do. The people that have gone live as a result of what I've told them to do or made videos as a result of what I've challenged them to do are reaping the rewards of it. I mean, there's no doubt what the what the rewards are. It's phenomenal. Not good. Phenomenal. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to be. <clears throat> so, well, this is a big one. Oh, it's hello to everybody. <laughs> I was a moderator on Clubhouse. I've spoken to two podcasts before 7 a.m. 
Holy sh smoly. You must be in California. First action was the gym. <clears throat> I don't fear the man who practices 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who practices one kick 10,000 times. Whoa. Whoa. That is phenomenal. That is man, Bruce Lee, man. Died young. Way too young. Way, 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 way too young. I think it's important to put these things in perspective because they're the things that are meaningful in your life. <clears throat> Big week coming? Good. Did you say tennis? I love playing tennis. Mary West wants to play tennis with you, Jen. <clears throat> Following up with show leads, boom. Picked up a new client, boom. <clears throat> Using the 5 4 3 2 1 method. I'm assuming five is the thing you're going to do first, then four, then three, then two, then one, but I don't know that absolutely. The great Ken Artist, lawyer extraordinaire, retired lawyer extraordinaire. When I'm, when curious, Met when you spoke at national sales meeting, you still use a coin instead of a normal business card. I do. Uh, at the moment, they're being redesigned. We'll use that coin forever. Good morning. Jen uses a coin also. Every day and every hour, I'm turning my pain into power. Now you're talking. Now you're absolutely talking. Scarpelli, every person has two lives. The second starts when we realize we have just one. <laughs> cool. Cool. My life is full of mistakes. They're pebbles that make a good road. Whoa, very, very, very. Warren, is that your saying or somebody else say it? If it's yours, acknowledge it. Put your name at the end of it. Please, please. I think the most important thing right now is making sure that we're taking our own wisdom and turning it into gold. So easy to do. So easy not to do. Got it? <coughs> Zoom calls. Failure is a resource. Exactly. <clears throat> Man, a lot of people are quoting me this morning. Help restaurants, help Floridians, help grow brand, help now, dollars later. Jimmy's a restaurant guy. He's 67 years old. When you watch this video, you're going to shit. Get, send me an email and explain what, what really happened, how this caused you to really make it to me because i'd really like to feature you maybe get you to be a guest on the show here because you've been in a classic example of what to do classic first on the list was at 5 a.m make my bed done dude way to go i need to close some deals from yesterday i'm prospecting 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 felipe good morning The Rotarians four way test is to treat. Yeah, this is good. This is this is very good. The Rotarians four way test. I've had the pleasure of speaking at many, many, many Rotary clubs, and I'll tell you, it's always a positive experience. The people that are there are dedicated to service. Period. That's why they're in the club. It's a service organization, and many people have been in it for many many years, many, many years. <clears throat> there you go. Number one on your list should be to get your attitude and motivation ready to succeed. I concur. <clears throat> Wrote my review for Go Live yesterday on Amazon. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I 
Way to go, dude. Way to go. Clearing space for podcasting. Thanks to Jen and Jeffrey for the insight as to why. Now you're talking. See, this is it. Good one. At the Mint Museum. I was there. You were there. That's exactly correct. You were there. In fact, I, we had food afterwards. Then we got in the restaurant and shoot the shit. I think we did. Came all the way from Boston. Is that cool or what? Take time to be in the moment. <sighs> this is day 343. Is that cool or what? 343. And I <clears throat> I can tell you this. I've not lost one, one degree of motivation or inspiration to do this. Every day is, it's, it's not a chore. It's a blessing. That I can tell you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, bud. Gitmer.com. Go to the resources section. Everything I ever talk about is right there for you to own and use to your best advantage. And we skipped a bunch of things again. I don't like skipping. Walls, tell the guy from StreamYard to fix this crap. I don't like how it skips. You cannot change your decision overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. <clears throat> if you're an insider, if you are in insiders, there's a very complete resource guide from Jeffrey and Jen. Under the, it's under the new normal course. Cool. There's better ones. There's more on the getimmer.com website. We haven't updated the one from the new normal course because it's in a video. Top of the morning. Yeah. Yep. Eat the biggest one first. I agree. Jenny, people are calling you right. Cool. I think you need to hop in the insider's club to do their challenge today. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm out of here right now. Yep. Agreed. And guys, thanks for being here this morning. Um, I think that there's a, an ability for you to really make it happen. Um, just special thanks to Jimmy O'Neill. This guy is like, he's a real 41 to 33 guy. Samuel quote, Samuel Smiles quote from Joachim, the morning would not be complete without it. <clears throat> yep. So, and thank you to Jen for being a spot guest. Cool. Not mine, Beatrice Wood. Okay, I'll make sure I got that one. Because I saved it. Whenever you quote somebody, even if it's yourself, put the name of the person, what quoted it. That's the whole deal. Beatrice, Wood, what a babe. I think that's the person that we're trying to become here. Correct? Boom. I'm going to send this to myself and fix it. Because that's what life is all about. Let's go here. Let's do this. And let's see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm thanking you for being here. We're coming up on a year. I can't wait. I literally, I can't wait. And uh, we'll talk about it. <sighs> Wishing you well. Wishing you health. Wishing you peace. And uh, 